Good morning. Welcome to St. Dominic Church. Thank you for joining us for our morning mass. We will begin at eight o'clock. On Monday, Father Jude's Zoom preaching series will be available to the public for free on our website, stdominics.org slash father.jude. If you would like to join this series, please download the Zoom app for free and go to the website for the link. Next month, we have a family fundraising event on October 9th and 10th. That is Friday night and Saturday night. There will be a video concert by the music ministry, followed by a documentary about the choir filmed in 2017 and 2018. Please keep Father Cashin in your prayers as he remains in the hospital for uh, this week. Um, he is undergoing testing and uh, we pray for his recovery. Please share this link with anyone who would like to join our Mass this morning. Thank you. This morning's intentions. The first intention is for the intention of Reynaldo Ortega. Reynaldo Ortega. The intentions, I will be celebrating the Mass for the deceased Dominican friars, friends, and benefactors, for the repose of Luis Arroyo, for the repose of Deacon Michael Finocchiaro, 
and for the repose of Felipe de Guzman. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of Christ our Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Juan Macias in the Dominican Rite, and I'll talk a little bit more about that after the Gospel. He was a companion of Rose of Lima, of Martin de Porres, and of Terebius de Mongrevejo, the Archbishop. Come you blessed of my father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. I say to you, whatever you did to one of the least of my brothers or sisters, you did to me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, lover and restorer of human salvation, whose charity impaled St. Impaled Saint Juan Macias to make himself subject to all, grant through his intercession that we may constantly cling to the mystery of your goodness and gladly extend our lives, expend our lives and our goods for our brothers and sisters. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty to your faith. Then we are also false witnesses of, to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, 
if he, in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is in vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. It's for this life only we have hope in Christ. We are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when my glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of, all, of, of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven de demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. When we see the uh, band of disciples, they're not very impressive when you look at them just as you see them walking down a road. In fact, they actually look pretty odd. They'd, there'd be women and men, perhaps in separate categories. This is a very sexist. We cannot hear you. You can't hear? Let's see if that improves it. No? Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Well, now we'll see if that helps. Better? Okay. Yeah. In any event, as we look at the disciples as they go down the street, they're not a very impressive looking lot. In fact, they look a lot like losers. They're not glorious. They're not impregnable. They're not powerful. They're they're, they're very simple people. So too, in Lima, Peru, <clears throat> in the 15th and 16th century, there were four people, four, one Franciscan and three Dominicans, who were outstanding for their charity to the poor. That was Archbishop Moncrevejo, who was uh, a Spaniard, Archbishop and a Franciscan devoted to serving the poor and serving this enormous diocese of Lima, this missionary gold rush diocese. Then along came Rose of Lima, a rather strange young lady, very mystical, 
given to severe penances and but who was basically supporting her family by her embroidery and by raising flowers. So things were tough, times were tough. Over at the Dominican Friary was St. Martin de Porres, who, <clears throat> if you've seen uh, pictures of Martin de Porres, you'll notice a cat, a rat, and a dog at his feet, eating out of the same bowl peaceably. The iconography of that is that in, within his, his very self, he was Spanish, he was black, and he was native. And so all three of those cultures met in Martin himself and met in Martin and were welcomed into the gospel. And so they could sit at each other's side and eat peaceably in the kingdom of God. Whereas in fact, in history, Lima was full of, of Spanish prospectors for gold who had but, gone bust, uh, runaway slaves, runaway Indians, runaway mulattoes from all over Latin America. They had all gone into this large gold, con gold town uh, of, of making some of our California gold towns look pretty tame. And in, over all this was the cast of, of language and, and power and money that was completely incompatible and completely overridden by the Spanish Empire and their, their desire to get as much gold as they could as fast as they could. These three, in particular, Dominicans, stood working with the poorest of the poor, no matter who they were. Martin, uh, as a, a healer, and a, a known in his own time as Martin, Martin el, Ca, el Caridable, Martin the Charitable, Juan Macias, who was an orphan, who was supporting his sister and himself, and yet in the midst of all that, he was giving generously to the poor out of whatever he had before he became a Dominican, and then was the porter at the front door of the, of the priory in Lima that the people would come and beg for whatever they could get because they were desperate. And he saw this desperate plight day in, day out, day in, day out, for years and years and years, and did not become overwhelmed by it, but rather served. And then Rose of Lima, praying for the people of God, praying for their intercession, bearing in her own body the wounds of Christ, as St. Paul tells us. This is then what real power is all about, what real service is all about to those who are last and least, to those that we don't see, the invisible people. So when we do something for the invisible ones, we're doing it directly to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In peace, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the invisible people in our midst, the homeless, especially those who are dealing with COVID. We pray to the Lord. We pray for a change of heart and leaderships throughout the world to, to serve the needs of the poorest of the poor. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our Latin community on this feast of a Latin man who did good things for the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For our Dominican family throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of our hearts, especially those for whom we offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Grant, O Lord, that we may bear the burden of daily labor by resolutely striving to match the example of San Juan Macias, on whom you bestowed a purity of life and perfect charity. Through Christ our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of Saint Juan Messias, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For among those who advance towards who advance towards advance towards the path of Dominic the blessed saint and our holy father to your holy mountain and today you grant us to celebrate his memory along with his brother Juan Macias that we may be encouraged to imitate him and imitate them and be strengthened in their spirit of our vocation those whom you father have mercifully called in your son and desired to sanctify in your truth he instructed they, they instructed with your saving word and with ardent desire endeavor to lead them to salvation. They beg that grace pointed out upon them through the sacraments of faith and labor to perfect them in their unity through the apost apostolic charity. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy and ministers of your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint, uh, Saint Juan Macias, Saint Rose of Lima, Saint Martin de Porras, Saint Dominic, Saint Catherine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord from every evil and grant us peace in our days in your mercy keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the we are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Receive, O Lord. Having fed upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love that imitating by your grave grace, charity of St. Juan Messias, we may be made partakers with him in glory. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder that there's exposition of the Blessed Sacrament from one o'clock this afternoon to five, and that you're very much welcome to return to this same space for that period of time. And then benediction at the end. The Lord be with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the lowly. Thanks be to God. God.